not like you can turn your cell phone off at five o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, because you, you work now, you had the chance, or maybe you did it before, but with orchestra and, and chorus and arrangements. Is it has that yeah the possibility that you all have all these ingredients for your to, to use it? Has it influenced or changed your writing uh, style a lot? Or? Not really. I mean, we, we never had a particular formula uh, when it comes to writing uh, songs. We just basically do as we always have, and that's putting ideas together. And if it sounds good, we keep it. If not, then we just scrap it. It's but that simple, really. How does it go? For example, you, you, I think you, you use just the guitar maybe to, to <coughs> get your ideas or, or the keys as well? Yeah, both. both. You know, and um, so it depends. Uh, a sample or something you watch on TV or or or, or film or whatever can trigger mm -hmm. uh, something inspirational and uh, if you sit there with your guitar you can just you know take it from there. Yeah, you you said in, a, in another interview that you <coughs> you quit at least writing during touring, but but for this record you you took some time off just to do some internal research to really focus on what on this record. Um, Is that it's just that yeah if it's that's the case. How, how, yeah, what kind of intention did you have before yeah, you went into this period of writing? Well, it's, uh, as I said before, it's, uh, we, we take it in, in turns, you know, when we're on tour, we totally concentrate on that, 110%. And, uh, and then when a touring cycle is over, that's when you uh, take some time off and, and you start working on some new ideas, and then you start writing. So we found out pretty early on that we have to separate the two things, you know. What kind of period is that for you when you come home from a long tour? What is actually the things that you maybe... Do you step away from music a little? or Not really, because the band is like 24-7. Uh, and mm -hmm. even if you're coming home from tour, there's always stuff to do, no matter what, you know. So it's, uh, it's not like you can turn your cell phone off at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And mm -hmm. <laughs> no, but do you have maybe something to, to <coughs> counterbalance it a little bit or you, you have some well, yeah, kind of... Oh uh, yeah, I, uh, I like to uh, spend time in the nature, you know, and uh, just relax at home. That's, uh, because you all, you all live in, in Oslo? Or, or yeah, we we'll li we'll live in the countryside, yeah. Because okay. yeah. how, how does it work? Do you see each other on, yeah, you said not maybe 9 to 5 base, but you, you have like... A lot of moments, the fixed moments that you actually come together, or in that period where well, we we spend so much time together when we're on tour and uh, and when we're rehearsing and doing the band. So, um, but sometimes, yeah, sure, we hang out. Mm -hmm. How does it work for you? You you used uh, Golstoras, uh, how do I pronounce it? To yeah. He did arrangements for you. Yeah, he has helped uh, us also in the past. Uh, mm -hmm. How much is he involved actually? In, in what stage does he come in for, for you? He comes in when we have uh, the songs finished written. Um, and then he gets the keyboard files or the orchestral files that we have made. And then he, uh, he kind of like you know, turns it into a full orchestration with notes for, so the orchestra can play it because we, mm -hmm. we don't know how to read notes. So okay. <laughs> we need him to, uh, to transfer our ideas. Well, what, what does he think actually of your initial ideas <coughs> most of the time? What is it, does he have a regular comments at least as well? You have to no, he's, uh, he's uh, very understanding towards uh, our way of writing music because uh, we think big right away uh, when we start a song. Um, so he's, uh, on this album he was, um, he was pretty early in the process as well, so that helped it to go even more smooth than mm -hmm. we expected. Yeah. I heard also that yeah you use the orchestra and they just play their stuff so they don't play along w with your music already or they, they no this time they mm -hmm. only get uh, get the click track you know mm -hmm. and uh, and the notes so uh, when they were the orchestra recorded their parts they um, they didn't hear any drums or guitars or anything. So. Uh, do you have any or maybe after recordings have had any reaction of of people with classical backgrounds maybe who played on the record? What yeah, they, they, they were actually, most of them were really positive to, uh, to the project and uh, um, it was kind of uh, amusing to see them play their parts because uh, prior to the recording they probably had just rehearsed their own parts, you know, separately. Mm -hmm. So when they came together and played as an orchestra, that, that's the first time and it was quite cool to see. You know?